Alright. Hello everyone, <clears throat> and welcome back to more Undertale. Uh, last we left off, we went on a date with Papyrus. The lovable Papyrus. And now, we will continue on our way. So let's, let's go. That effect honestly looks pretty weird to me. <clears throat> kind of like the weird on my eyes. But anyway, let's keep going. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha! <laughs> All that gives by life validation explaining the echo flower. No one no one can know. <laughs> Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. That's one of the constants, okay. <laughs> the sound of rushing water fills you with determination. What? Haven't what? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm gonna go to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. <clears throat> Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans! Hi, Sans! Greetings, Sans! Hiya, Sansy! Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah. I haven't had breakfast in at least a half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> Here, get comfy. <laughs> Fucking sad. Whoops, watch where you're sitting down. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seat. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I'll take some... It doesn't fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groby, we'll have a double order of fries. So, what do you think? I'm my brother. He's pretty cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> <clears throat> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Not sure. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. <laughs> Forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. He's scratching his ass. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries really hard. Like, how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him in. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him more training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. <clears throat> oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Uh, oh, do you mean flowey or the echo flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower, you thought about it. They're all over the marsh. Some say, say something to them, and they repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just one thing. Oh, no. <laughs> just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. <laughs> by the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Fucking. <laughs> <clears throat> Grobis. Grill. 
Grobes said your food is probably cold by now. I can't pick it up. Alright, well, let's continue on our way again! <laughs> because fucking sand said take us all the way back here. I really gotta say, dude, this this game is just absolutely charming. At least you, or at least from what I hear, at least if you play the passive route, if you play the genocide route, it's actually pretty, it gets, it, it becomes a completely different game from what I've heard. <laughs> <clears throat> No, yeah, right, that's you. Let's save what's more. <laughs> Is that the same thing different? Let's hang out again sometime. <clears throat> this is a box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Use the box? Uh, I don't think I need to. Mm, I don't think I need to. Alright, keep going. Down here. I saw I saw something behind that rushing water. <laughs> There's a tutu lying around here. Will you take it? Yeah, sure. You got the old tutu. Ooh, this is pretty slow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them violently. What? Did I capture them? W w well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. W what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them. You see, you see. No, oh, no. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, you saw nothing, man. <laughs> no. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do what you do to get her attention? Ha <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> Fell. <laughs> uh I guess I'm gonna have to do fucking Papyrus' voice more because I thought I'd be done after that. Oh wow, that's a pretty cool effect, I like that. The shadow. Oh my god, this is gonna cut my throat. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. When four bridge seeds line in the water, they will sprout. Oops. Okay, new enemy. Aaron deflects in. <laughs> this is like one of my more favorite enemies that I've seen so far. Uh, so we check him. Aaron's seven attack. To defense. This seahorse has a lot of HP horsepower. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. And is mining his own muscles. Oh, uh, let's flex. You flex, air flexes twice as hard. Attack curve increases for you too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. It's kind of fast. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Let's flex. Oh no, I didn't even do that. Fuck. Check all you want. Uh, let's go up a little bit. 
Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. The attack increases for you too. Nice! I won't lose though. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. Oh man. <laughs> Fucking Aaron. So, this side here, my first playthrough, I did actually work to get this side. It's useless. All it really says is, you wasted your time or something. No, I'll actually do it for you guys, so you guys can see. <laughs> Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, that's all it does. So don't waste your time doing that. Uh, you can come up here and ring the bell and it'll return. What you're actually supposed to do, or maybe there's another more ways to do this, but this is what I did. <coughs> It's one of my favorite soundtracks so far. Here we go. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought it, she thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? Uh, yeah. Okay. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Anyway, try. I mean, this I didn't try before when I first played through, but when you change your clothing when he tells you that, so that Undyne doesn't maybe see you. I don't know if it works or not, but <laughs> we'll see. This is called fire. So yeah, hold on. Hmm. This puzzle. I've got it. Try to build a bridge with the bridge seeds. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Papyrus. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your might, your wish would one day become true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Fishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. Okay, washa, wash, washua. Alright, let's check him out. 7 attack, 1 defense. This humble green germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Scrub a dub dubs. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, well, uh. Let's just clean him. No, wait. That's wrong, because I did wait. Green means clean! Alright, I have a really hard time getting this sometimes. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Uh, I wish my sister and I would will see the real stars someday. Uh, since my horoscope is the same as last week's. Look to the telescope, sure. Check wall. Thank you. Did I change the phone thing? Totally. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the same strength is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. <laughs> it's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. She could see what it was, but... I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. Undyne! Okay, well, I guess it's a change. Alright. Fuck! Dodge! Dodge! Oh shit, that was close. Fuck! Alright. Alright. 
Ugh, man, shit, I might need to heal. Come at me, bro. Fuck. <laughs> Don't come at me. Oh, wow, I actually got them. That's over. And see ya. Oh, you still kiss me. Nice try. You can't hit shit. Now let's see what you got. though it just puts it back down <laughs> she's like nope <laughs> and I saw nothing <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yo did you see that and I just touched me I'm never washing my face again ever man are you unlucky if you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. <laughs> he falls again. <laughs> oh, this game, man, this is, uh, this is one of my favorite games of this year, maybe. Unless Mother 4 comes out by this year. Oh, should I didn't read that. Uh, sure, let's read that. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Sweet. Oh, because the mouse. Yeah. <laughs> this cheese has been here for so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Oh, at least it's not bold. <laughs> but I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000... Uh, yeah, 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yeah, sure, Hans. Sounds... Okay, I don't know. <clears throat> huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. This box? I don't need it. I say I do. Put the, uh, put the manly bed down on me. Uh, let's think. Let's think. Anything else? No, I don't know. Anything else? What? Star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Or do I have a black eye? Wait, where did I get a black eye from? Oh, it's from the telescope! Sand, you dick! <laughs> I never noticed that before, that's wow. Alright, let's go in here. Alright, uh... Let's see, what is this? Is this another box? It's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy a nice card, a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free nice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just twenty-five cookies. That's more expensive. <laughs> Super. Here you go. Your cards in the box. You got the nice cream. All right. <sighs> You hear a passing conversation. So, do you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation? Hmm, just one. But it's kind of stupid. Let me see what that is. That can't. You walk into Mold Small. These guys are small guys. So. See ya! <laughs> In here. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Sure. You got the ballet shoes. Uh, I think they use you. Ballet shoes, weapon attack 70. You, these used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Might as well. Some new shoes.
Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. I am not a cruel person. I strive to be comforting and pleasant. Papyrus, he smells like the moon. So because of my inherent goodness, I told her you were not wearing a bandana. Even though you told me you were... <laughs> Fucking Papyrus! <laughs> Instead, I made up, made something up. I told her you were wearing a dusty tutu. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. I knew you would never wear a dusty tutu, but your safety is more important than fashion. <laughs> Dang! I just want to be friends with everyone. <laughs> okay, the last time I did change, he told her that I was wearing the manly bandana. <laughs> so if you do change, he tells her that you weren't wearing what you told him. <laughs> Fucking papyrus, dude. Alright. Ah, uh, wash one air. Oh, this is the worst combo for me. I'm so horrible with these two. Alright. Uh. Let's have. Let's. No, let's just fucking. Let's get wash a out of here. Uh, clean. Green means clean. Oh, shit. That's right. Oh, god. Just take it. Get out of here. Phew, I'm sweating. Oh, wow, I almost ran right into that one. Oh, oh Jesus. It smells like a muscle farm. Ah, muscle. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Deck these for Flexing contest, let's go. Or something like that, I always says. Alright. Nice, it won't lose though. Flexes on that other. Yeah. Usually I'm not very good with that combination. You hear a passy conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh, what the fuck? I ain't into that tentacle stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I might look Asian, but I ain't Asian, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you're obviously very Asian. <laughs> hey, uh, let's see. Oh, hey there! Notice you were here! I'm Onion san Onion san you here? <laughs> this is really racist, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But, hey, hey that's okay. It beats moving to the city, yes? And living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full, anyway. So even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undy's gonna fix everything, you hear? I gotta get out of here and live in the ocean. Yeah, you hear? Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! I'm sorry to any Asian people that are listening. <laughs> that was really fucked up, All right? Shire in the edge of the corner, but someone comes here. Uh, let's check. Tone deaf, she's too ashamed to sing a deadly song. Toot! Robot. Shire pretends to be a pop idol. Uh, hum. You hum a funky tune, and Shire involves your melody. City, 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 me, me, me. Sorry, I think they would be more comfortable with something. So that enemy is a special enemy, and from here, the northern one has a bridge. So from here, you're supposed to go here, and you, that little tune she did at the end, you're supposed to like know what you do. But I'm not a I'm not a uh, composer, so I don't know how to fucking play the piano. So 
I already have this on. I found a little thing for me to use. Let's see if I can do this right. Uh, let's see. How do you do this? Alright, here we go. Alright. Alright, cool. Yeah, I had to look this up my first playthrough because I didn't know. <coughs> Alright, here we go. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Take it. You're carrying too many dogs. But but I'm not carrying too many dogs. What the fuck? You deploy the dog. <laughs> dog absorbs the artifact. <laughs> hey, where you going, man? Come back here. Fucking took my goddamn treasure. The artifact is gone. And the dog lesson. Freaking dog residue. One crystal secured is secreted by dog. Yeah, okay. Sh shut up. I wonder if you can sell the dog residue to the. to anybody. Hmm. Nah, I don't think. Oh, let's try it. <clears throat> <sighs> the northern room hides a great treasure. The power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one explanation: the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments, a human can absorb this soul. This has never happened, and now it never will. <coughs> The statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. What am I supposed to do? I'm not. I'm not I don't know. This is kind of weird. I don't think I'm doing anything here though. That looks like somebody's sitting. Please take one. Sure, man. Take my belt. Take my belt. What if I go back? I never did this before. I'm just trying something out. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. We can do that. <coughs> I take another one, or <sighs> let's see if it like despawns. Uh... Good. All right, let's go. I never did that before, so. Let's see. <clears throat> Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! You know, I even under my umbrella, dude. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, eh, 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 under my umbrella. Oh, shit. Man, Undyne's so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. <clears throat> No, she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> so one time, we had a school project. We had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mister Dreamer, volunteered volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Alright, uh, looks like I'm gonna have to end this episode here. <clears throat> so, yeah. And thank you all once again for watching. Um, please subscribe, uh, hit, give this video a like, and leave a comment. You know, just let me know how I'm doing by myself. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not used to this at the moment, so. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.